My name is Chris Figueroa, um, and this is implementing the Steamworks SDK in Unity. Uh, I'll kind of break this down in like uh, two parts for people, A, that are programmers and people that are just the business side or something. So um, for those of you that don't know, um, Steam obviously is owned by a company named Valve. Um, and uh, Steamworks SDK is essentially uh, their library to give us their features for the video games on their platform. So, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about me. My name's Chris Figueroa again. Uh, I co-founded a studio with my wife uh, called Kanifi Games. I make uh, Unity extensions and uh, games and so on. Uh, I was formerly worked at Activision. Uh, for those of you that have used Unity for I don't know how long, but I used Unity when the iOS was a separate application. There was Unity iOS, and then there was Unity. So it was a long time ago. Um, but yeah, and also uh, I have a game called Imagine Me on Steam Early Access, and that was also the beginning part of this of why I'm doing this talk. So, um, And then Riley is not here. Uh, he is in Canada, but he is the programmer of Steamworks.net, and uh, we work together. I promote it, and he programs it. Um, and yeah, he works on odd, just freelance for different Steam games, and he makes the wrapper Steamworks.net, and he implements it for people for freelance. So um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, for those, you'd be surprised how many people don't know what Steam is, um, but I'll still go through it. Uh, it was created by Valve. It's essentially just uh, a store and a platform. Um, you can buy games and play them and so on. Uh, you can create and share content. And then uh, also their newest thing is the Steam OS. And uh, I didn't put the Vive on here. But uh, Steam OS is just a Linux distribution that automatically launches to Steam. So, so what is Steamworks? Uh, Steamworks is. It's kind of complicated in a way, but I'll kind of go over it uh, for you and what it offers. Uh, so Steamworks offers achievements, leaderboard stats, matchmaking, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. And this is only half of it. Um, they have VR support. Uh, they also have uh, workshop and uh, item sharing is something relatively new. Um, so yeah, there's a, a lot of things you can do for your game. Um, one of the cooler things is that I don't have on here is uh, this, they do this uh, Vive support, so then you can like switch between a desktop game and so on. So, um, and this is what Steamworks actually is. So if your game is playing uh, in the Steam API, it automatically hijacks your app essentially, and you uh, don't really have a choice if you launch it from Steam, um, but you can hide it. Uh, but what it does is it'll say, like, it'll initialize in the bottom right, and then if you press Shift-Tab, it'll show you your friends and the achievements for the application that's launched. Um, so how many, for uh, just a hand, how many people actually have an app on Steam? Anyone? How many people have in implemented achievements or anything of the sort? Perfect. And how many people are looking to do this? Cool. All right. So this is going to save all the majority of you that have not done this a lot of time. Um, for those that are in the process or currently part of the Steam platform, one of the requirements that I don't have on slides here is that you do need to finish all of your paperwork 100%. Um, we've actually had people where they can access everything, but the paperwork just isn't done entirely. Um, you get an app ID, you get everything, but you just need to make sure everything is done because uh, you'll have problems with all this stuff if you don't. So, uh, so let's talk about the solutions. There's a lot of different things other than Steamworks.net out there, and I'll tell you about all of them and why I feel that uh, Steamworks.net is a little better than all of them. Um, so the first one is the Community Express SDK. Um, I think this one is really great, actually. It has a high-level and a low-level API, uh, which is fantastic. Um, it's open source now, which is great. Uh, something that they just did relatively recently was the Linux support. Uh, a lot of times, there's a lot of wrappers out there, and a lot of them only support Windows, or they only support Mac and Windows, and so on. The most popular one, obviously, is the Ludacity uh, Steamwork wrapper, which is uh, Debs from uh, Sweden. And 
Uh, they were the first ones to have it, and it used to be on the asset store for $400, and then it went down to $150, and then it went down to $50, and that, it was $50 when I wrote this slide, and now it's free and open source. So, um, <laughs> and uh, that's just kind of the way it is. Um, and then there's Steamworks.net, which is uh, essentially us, and it's all open source, it's free, it works on every platform. It works on SteamOS, which is the same thing as Linux. So. Um, and then there's also, also the option of the custom wrapper. Um, I don't know how many of you want to do that, but it's interesting. Um, and you'd be surprised if you just go on GitHub and type in Steamworks SDK, there's a lot of people that write their own wrappers specifically for their own whatever they want. So, so what is the problem with all of these, actually, um, despite their platforms? Uh, C++, if you're not comfortable with it, you'd be surprised how many people aren't. Um, the hardest part also is that uh, Unity has kind of constraints and the Steamworks has constraints of how you can talk to Steamworks in C++. So essentially, you would have to write a wrapper in C, which then you talk to with another in-between library wrapper that's C++. So uh, it goes Steamworks, which is C++, then C, then C Sharp. Um, and it gets kind of confusing. And that's just because of how uh, Steamworks.net is written. Um, so uh, maintaining the wrapper is really hard. Uh, Valve updates a lot. They do a lot of different features. They do really, really great features, and they're large, large updates all the time. And they touch a little bit of everything. Um, they, even if their stuff tells you that it's, it updates a certain specific thing, it it's usually touches something somewhere. Um, and I'll talk about what Riley does for all of that, too. So uh, Steamworks.net is a solution where uh, I needed something alternative, and Riley was really, uh, he knew the Valve platform as a whole. Um, so he just started writing it, and then I just kind of said, hey, we, you should keep doing this, and eventually it became bigger and bigger. Um, so why is this so great? Uh, it's completely open source. Uh, we do. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm going to skip down to the bottom and go up is that it's one-to-one. -one. Um, a lot of wrappers that you'll notice, they actually don't do one-to-one. -one. So for us, we don't give you any of the documentation because you can legitimately read the documentation for their stuff, and it's exactly the same, um, which is great. And it saves us time, and it saves you time. Um, Valve's documentation largely covers it on there, but there are, there are parts that are new. Sometimes you go to Valve's documentation and it'll just say like a small snippet and you just kind of have to experiment and figure it out. That's where parts that we put in and we say this is how you do it on our end. So um, It's designed as closely as possible. It works on Windows OS, uh, OS X, Linux, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. That's another uh, constraint for a lot of people. Some people only support 32 or only support 64 because they just don't want to make more libs for it. Um, so there's that. Uh, how do we do Steamworks.net? Essentially, Riley just pulls the new one from Valve, and he has a custom script that's written in Python, and it essentially just checks headers and checks everything and compares it, and then he sees what's different, and then we just kind of fix it. Uh, and it sounds really crazy. It works great. Uh, we do, it's almost one to two days from a new thing that comes out, which is kind of uh, unheard of for most platforms. So if Valve announces it, you can pull, and then you can start reading the documentation on something new, and sometimes within 24 hours, we'll push a new one for you guys. So, uh, so yeah. Um, what's the future of Steamworks.net? Uh, Essentially, as of now, there's only one thing that we don't support, and that's all the Vive stuff, and that's because a lot of it isn't available. Um, some of it is, but some of it's not. Um, also, switching between that stuff is also interesting, but I'll go through that. So uh, we want to do, right now we have like a, a, we don't have a high and a low level API, it's just one, um, but we want to start doing that, and we've s uh, slowly started doing that, so um, that kind of fits the Unity uh, way because Unity programmers are kind of, they're all over the place with skill levels. Um, that's just something that we want to do. Uh, we do one-to-one -one support. Uh, that's something really great. So if you have a problem or anything, you can legitimately just contact me and, or Riley, and I'll just I'll write whatever I can for you, or I'll just Skype you. 
and it's just easier that way. Um, and that sounds ridiculous, but it's really not. Um, it's something that is needed and doesn't exist, so that's why we do this. Um, asset store release, that's something that we're working on. The thing about the asset store release is that we uh, submitted it and then we took it off because it actually takes a while for the submission process to go through, and the submission process takes too long for how we fast we can actually update it. Um, it's just not fast enough at all. So we just uh, don't do that right now, but we will eventually. Um, videos is something. Uh, a lot of people ask for videos. Uh, we want to have videos for you guys because that's something Unity people really like. I don't know. They love watching videos on one monitor and actually programming it on the other, so, which is cool. So we'll do that for you guys. So why don't you want to use Steamworks.net? Or why would you want to use Steamworks.net? And why wouldn't you want to use other ones? Um, I used Ludosity for a while, uh, and it was great for the smaller things, but when you get into things like uh, multiplayer specifically, multiplayer and using Steamworks multiplayer stuff, ours is so close to the original that there, we have no problems, and if you do have something, it's really easy to just kind of look or ask and figure it out. And uh, if you contact your Valve uh, contact and say, hey, I'm having this problem, all of them are very familiar with Steamworks.net, uh, so you can kind of ask them and they'll help you. Uh, a, lot, a lot of them have bugs in it where the wrappers that are out there like Ludosity and Community Express, it's obvious that they had their own interests in mind. So they are like, we have these 14 features for our game. Um, we're going to flesh these out 100% and we'll just kind of do the rest of them. And you can, like, while you're programming it, you can see the weaknesses in there, which isn't a bad thing. It's just uh, how it is. Um, and yeah, and the, the last one is just the personal testimony. Uh, as of now, uh, Steamworks.net supports 5,000 games, um, which most of them are uh, very, very extremely successful games. Rust is probably the most successful that we support, or Besieged, or something like that. So. Um, and it, it's, it's a personal testimony to me, essentially, I was creating my game at, at Steam at the time, and I asked Riley to do it, and then uh, it just kind of exploded, um, which is really great. And now it's heavily supported, and there's actually extensions out there. You can, on GitHub, you can look, and people have written their own, like, little uh, modules, essentially, for it to, like, give them more, which is awesome. So. And before I get to the conclusion, I'm going to show for the programmers and the business people how easy it is. And I'm doing this directly from scratch. <laughs> and we've made this streamline. It was written for Unity. Um, and this is... You're just going to import a custom package. You can do that, or you can just import the source if you want to pull from source. It's just a Steamworks package. And you're going to import it. And the console will tell you. It'll eventually, it'll tell you. There it goes. Uh, it's moved all the DLLs to the correct places for you automatically. Um, and then it will tell you in the debug log, hey, we've done this. Um, we also created a Steamworks app ID, which is your game's app ID. Um, you put that into a, a, a .txt in your root, and then you just restart Unity, and then that's, that's it. You're done. You can automatically, you can just start calling stuff immediately. Um, there is no crazy movement of DLLs or building. It's all managed in our scripts for you, and that's it. Um, I can't even tell you how easy that is. And it's... Uh, Steamworks.net is ran by just a one, uh, just one Steam manager, so you'd put it on an object, I don't know, call it something, and then just drag the Steamworks manager over and add it to that object, and that's it. Um, and just start calling. It's really, really easy. Um, for some people that don't like the one object thing, there are alternatives, and we have that in the documentation for you guys. So. Um, and I hope that you guys realize the pain that I went through in order to make this what it is. So uh, you don't have to go through all the other 14 wrappers. I think it was 20 that I researched at the time. So, um, so the conclusion is uh, using, uh, using the Steamworks SDK is difficult. 
It isn't difficult as long as you have an option that actually works. <laughs> uh, and that's why we made Steamworks.net. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, and this is something, the, the next two are something that uh, I've talked to with people at Valve and they really want uh, ex expressed is that you need to know the Steam business model and you need to understand grassroots marketing that comes to these features. Just because I give you the power to add 40 features doesn't mean you should. Uh, uh, the, one of the coolest things about being on the Steam platform is that if you're with a friend online and you're playing different games and you boot your game, it'll tell your friends, um, hey, they're playing this game, or hey, their friend got this achievement, or, and that's why you want to use the Steamworks SDK to its fullest and implement it so that eventually you're playing your game and then someone else sees it and then someone else sees it and so on and goes on. And that's really important. Um, one of the last things that I would really like to, I don't have enough time to show you, but I really want to uh, eventually talk about is that we can do item sharing now, which is really cool. So if you have partners of any other games or anything, you guys can create in-game items that they earn and you can trade them with your other games on Steam, um, which is really cool, which again, that goes back to the gr uh, grassroots marketing. Um, it's something that essentially you're creating your little economy of games. And if you know anyone else that has a game on Steam, you guys can share stuff too. So uh, with these or with these uh, wrappers, if you don't use Steamworks.net, uh, some of them cost money, some of them don't. Um, so just kind of choose whatever is right for you. Um, and most of these options uh, will take about five minutes to set up. Uh, there's alternative where you actually have to build from source before you can do that. So um, just be prepared for that if you've never done something like that. And I just uh, also I, I want you guys to be 100%. Uh, I do we do one to one support. So if you guys have any questions now or later, uh, feel free to come up to me or uh, email me or so on, and I will help you, or Riley will help you with anything, and we will help you get your game uh, figured out on Steam. And that's it. Um. Does anyone have any questions directly? Yeah. He has his mic. <laughs> Probably a uh, quick, one, quick one just to be sure. Um, so Steamworks.net is compatible with Steam VR plugins, so you can use both. So I think there's really no point in having um, Steam VR integrated in Steamworks.net because it's kind of like yeah, yeah. Uh, that's you can use both at the same time. Um, one of the weird things is there is that sometimes they call the same things, um, and you just have to like watch that essentially. Um, it's nothing really crazy, but it, you'll just know right away because you'll get arguments or, or you'll get the same thing returned twice, and it's just like that because of the Steam VR plugin does some things that we do too. So oh, okay, so you have to be cautious when using yeah. both because okay, yeah. cool. So, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's completely compatible and it's fine. So great. Yeah. Thanks. Any other questions? Anything? Yeah. Hey. hey. Um, you said you should know the Steam business model and grassroots marketing. Yeah. What What are the features in Steamworks that you think could be the most effective at getting new users? Uh, for sure, uh, achievements. Um, this is the most insane thing, and it, it may be. Uh, I I play games, but I'm not like hardcore into Steam or hardcore into achievements or leaderboards or anything like that. But there's actually like websites that exist out there where people have like single accounts that are linked to everything, like Xbox and uh, PlayStation, and they like report in and like say that they got these achievements. So like, the, uh, Steam achievements are really important because a Steam has all these summer sales and you can get games for like a dollar and then you can get like 30 achievements from it and then like you can get your leaderboards. But I think the most important thing recently is for sure the in-game items. You can give them like your own currency or you can give them your own item and like make up your item and you can share it with another game of yours in the future which then they can download and use as another thing. Like that's really powerful that eventually you have a small economy for your own games. And I think that works great because then you can trade also with other people. So I think that by far is the most important one. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>